It's time again to recap the latest news from the solar PV industry compiled by the American Solar Energy Society. I'm Jay Warmke with SolarPVTraining.com, and this is what's happening in the wonderful world of solar for the week of November 3rd. Now, contrary to what many critics may claim, a newly published study examining property values near dozens of Midwestern solar arrays have found uh, no significant negative impact on nearby property values, and in fact, a slight positive impact on those property values. The study conducted by Loyola University looked at property values of, of properties near 70 different utility scale systems in the Midwest and found that that there was actually an increase in the value of the property by half a percent to as much as 2%. The lead author noted that while the impact itself may be minimal, um, that clearly the economic activity of these solar projects uh, provide jobs. They also provide increased tax revenues, which then has a positive impact on nearby property values. Uh, other recent studies have found to have little or no impact um, from solar arrays located near homes or farms. The Loyola study did cite a 2018 study conducted by the University of Texas of 956 solar farms, which found that there was no conclusive evidence one way or the other on any impact on property values. Values. Now, on the negative side, they also noted the study by Berkeley Laboratories that did find that when they studied about uh, 2,000 solar farms and the properties located nearby, there was as much as a 1% negative impact on those uh, facilities. First Solar announced that it's Series 7 uh, modules that will be produced in its new Alabama facility will be made of 100% U.S. components that meet the Treasury's Department rulings on the IRA's uh, domestic tax credit, 10% um, tax credit. They'll use Alabama source steel, uh, which will be smelted, rolled, and fabricated within 25 miles of the solar panel facility that will bring about 800 new energy technology jobs to that state. Now, last month, First Solar inaugurated this one point. $1 billion facility in Lawrence County, Alabama, adding a capacity, adding capacity to its already three factory footprint that's located in Ohio. The fully integrated thin film panel will add 3.5 gigawatts of capacity once production is fully up and running, uh, giving so first solar a total domestic nameplate capacity of around 11 gigawatts. They're also constructing another 3.5 gigawatt factory in Louisiana, which is expected to come online in the second half of 2025. Ohio-based First Solar is the largest manufacturer of solar panels here in the U.S., producing twice as much as uh, their nearest U.S. competitor. They primarily focus on cadmium telluride uh, thin film panels that are used by commercial and utility scale systems. The levelized cost of electricity for renewable technologies is dropping globally, according to a new report by Wood McKenzie. In North America, the report cited that the cost of production has dropped by 4.6% in 2024. The data analytics form also projected that the levelized cost of, of energy for utility scale solar would continue to decline by as much as 60% by 2060, driven down by um, enhanced new technologies in cell technology, as well as uh, increased capacity for components such as polysilicon. In contrast, while the production costs are going down, the cost of purchasing this energy or the levelized cost of energy continues to go up. Uh, solar PPA prices jumped 5.4% in the third quarter of 2024. That's up 10.4% uh, year over year, according to Level 10 Energy. Uh, analysts blame the higher PPA prices on the fact that there continues to be a large queue for interconnection of these new developments. So the developers who are lucky enough to get their projects approved and, and constructed are in a much better negotiating uh, position with those who wish to buy the power. A preliminary injunction has halted enforcement of a California rule that would severely restrict solar installers from installing um, battery systems. 
The rule approved by the California Contractor State Licensing Board, or CSLB, in April of this year prohibits licensed solar contractors in the state of California from installing batteries with uh, existing solar power plants or even produce, um, doing maintenance on battery systems that they previously installed. The rule was approved by the CSLB despite the board's own research finding zero safety issues or concerns or incidents across all residential battery systems installed to date, including 175,000 of these systems installed in the state of California. Uh, clean energy and environmental advocates who uh, were the plaintiffs in this case argued that uh, the injunction was necessary because they would very likely um, uh, be uh, successful in their lawsuit because, as they claim, the um, CSLB did not follow many of the rules administratively that they were supposed to follow, including failing to consider alternatives to this ruling or failing to consider how this ruling would affect uh, the income of small businesses. And finally, early studies of solar photovoltaic systems in the southwestern United States uh, found a number of deceased birds located at or near these solar um, arrays, which led to the hypothesis that these birds died colliding with the solar panels. However, recent studies have found that these bird panel collisions may be exceedingly rare. With $1.3 million in funding from the U.S. Department of Energy's solar Energy Technology Office, or CETO, Argonne National Laboratory researchers developed and tested a camera system that tracked birds as they interacted with these solar installations. In 17,000 hours of video that were analyzed, they did not detect a single collision of a bird with solar panel, uh, according to the researchers. And while the bird study did not find these collisions, it did find that the birds were in fact interacting with the solar arrays. Uh, they found that they were roosting on top of them, and then many of the birds were using the underside of the arrays for foraging, for nesting, and in fact for roosting on the underside as well. Uh, the Argonne Project is part of CETO's effort to understand more fully how solar energy inter interacts with wildlife as well as the environment in general. And that's the news from the solar industry for this week. We'll see you next week.